In this video, we will be discussing everything you need to know about Commander. So those who might not be aware about Commander, Commander is similar to Command Prompt, but it has got some more functions and it comes with some cool user interface. Now why should you install or what are the benefits, the features and all the other stuff, you will get to know everything in this video. So stay tuned till the end. Alright, so let's first install it. It's not so very complicated process. Just head over to the browser and type commander. Now when you land on this website, you will get two options to choose from. First one is the minimal version. This uses console emulator to its core and which has got some great enhancement from Clink. Now this terms might confuse you, especially if you are a beginner or if you are just a normal user. But yeah, in this video, you will get to know about it. Fine. Second one is based on msys git, which comes with unix command like git and all the other stuff. Now you might be confused about which version should you install between these two, minimal or the full version. So to keep it simple, if you are developer and if you want any kind of support from Unix command or maybe if you have Git previously installed on your machines, you can install minimal version. But if you don't have it, you can go with the full version which comes with the Git by default in it. Okay, let's just download it. Till the time it's been downloading, let's find out what is console emulator. It's actually a free open source terminal emulator. Now what is terminal emulator? So with the help of terminal emulator, you can access another computer. Also you can access servers, routers, any kind of IoT devices and other networking devices too. Here you can access it either with a command line interface or graphical interface. In this, the communication going on between host and the other device is made possible through protocols such as Telnet and SSH. Before directly jumping on to Telnet and SSH, I feel you should know some basic like what is terminal, bash, command line, command prompt. Well, let's begin with terminal emulator. It is the actual window which you can see here. So what exactly happens? This terminal emulator runs default system shell and this shell runs bash. Now bash here is the language and like bash there are other languages too such as sh, csh, zsh and so on. And shell here is a type of interpreter. Command line is the line where we are actually typing. And this section over here is a prompt. Back to Telnet and SSH. Telnet is a command line tool. With the help of this tool, you can actually create files, delete files, transfer files to the server and it really doesn't matter how far you are from the server. But as Telnet was developed in the year 1969, that time there was no privacy issues. So the data while communication with other device will not be in encrypted format. And on the other side, SSH, that is secure shell, is encrypted, which means your data remains safe. Well, that's about terminal emulator. It's just the basic part. I had explained which I feel you should know. So this commander is built on top of this console emulator which is nothing but a terminal emulator. Alright so here our downloading part is complete. Now it's time to install.
fine i will just move this file to the new folder just because i don't like the folders to be rested on desktop well let's extract it and here we need to open .exe file by running it as a administrator so basically to sum up everything commander consists of these three utilities in it console emulator clink and sysget you already know about console emulator let's know some basic about clink it combines cmd.exe which is your windows terminal with powerful command line editing features that kind of provides rich completion and line editing capabilities msys git it is actually a development environment to compile git for windows so commander is actually the package of this three utilities in it now once you install it you have access to plenty of options which you probably wouldn't find it in command prompt options like you can customize it the way you want you can use it with editors like vs code sublime and many others well let's have a look on its features the very first feature is its portability it does not has any kind of external dependencies so it becomes handy while carrying this software in your usb or maybe the cloud storage next one is that the full version already has git installed so you don't have to download it externally next feature is that you can customize this the way you feel fine while talking about its next feature you get amazing shortcuts also you can easily copy paste the commands open multiple tabs in it for highlighting the syntax you get tons of colors to choose from and lastly it has pretty good user interface you can download it and explore the other features too so that's about the features okay so here we get a search bar where you can search out the features and just next to it you get a small plus icon with this you can create the new console also you can rename your tabs if you want and this one is the alternative mode where you can actually pause the current output like if you just turn it on and try to type anything you will see nothing on the screen this button refers to buffer height when you turn it on you will see scroll bar at right side of your terminal you just need to hover over it to see the scroll bar this option is helpful when you have many commands typed on your console and in case if you want to refer some previous commands this option comes handy you just scroll up and you see the previous commands now when you just head on to the settings you get lot and lots of options for customizing the console like you can change the font size appearance you can even change the transparency of your console let me show you
and this is how you can change the transparency. So yes, you can install it and have fun trying out these features. Commander really has flexibility when it comes to customization. You can customize it the way you like. Now if you want to open Commander with any folder or wherever you need, just open up your command prompt, run it with administrator and now search out the folder where you have kept the commander install and then just copy the path. In command prompt type cd space and paste the path. Just type this command. And hit enter okay so now if you get any kind of error message like access denied just recheck if you have run command prompt with administrator if you didn't get any kind of message then there is no need to worry about it now wherever you want commander to be opened up right click it you will able to see a new option which is commander here fine if you don't want it Follow the same process and just type this command in command prompt. Alright that's it for this video, hope you have learned something new and thank you so much for watching till the end. See you in my next video. Take care, bye.